it's Anya here at ourgiveholthome.com and in this video I would like to give you our one year farmhouse kitchen honest review. We've been cooking and baking and fermenting and preparing and making food in this kitchen for just about a year now and you may have seen my original kitchen reveal video and I thought that this would be a really good moment to go through uh, everything, how the kitchen has held up, the various products, the, uh, the cabinets, the counters, the um, things that we put in there except for the appliances and um, just be really honest and really detailed so hopefully that you can also make really good decisions when it comes to your own kitchen remodel or if you just want to replace one thing or another in your own kitchen. If you have seen my last year's kitchen reveal you may have noticed that we did not have this beautiful stove here this is a new addition which i will actually cover in a separate video that is coming out next week or the week after i so stay tuned um if you are new on my channel please subscribe and if that video comes out you will get a little notification and also i always love it when you give me a thumbs up if you enjoy my content so there's only really one thing in our kitchen that i would do differently and on the whole if you don't want to watch this entire video i can tell you that i'm super happy with this kitchen i love it i love being in it i love cooking in it at some point we had a joke when this kitchen was pretty new um, I said to my husband, <laughs> if I could, I would even sleep in my kitchen because it was so beautiful. But you also have to know that we had a really old, um, dingy kitchen from the 1940s or 50s forever that we cooked in. So it was overdue for a kitchen remodel. And also our kitchen remodel took a really long time, partly because my husband has a day job. So he was really busy and he had to do this on the side. And I had a very bad knee injury with two knee surgeries, so everything just took a lot longer than we thought. The cabinets are IKEA bod bin cabinets and we knew early on that we wanted ikea kitchen cabinets this is about the third kitchen in my life that is an ikea kitchen and even though ikea kitchens have always been pretty good they have come a long way they are really so much better in quality now than they were 20 30 years ago and we also got two other quotes just to compare it a little bit but the ikea cabinets just really were the least expensive i think for the entire kitchen it was somewhere around four thousand it wasn't even five thousand dollars for all the cabinets and the trim and the not the cabinet hardware but the um, hinges and the drawers the inserts so i think that's a really good price the others were pretty much twice what we wanted my husband really wanted the bob bin fronts and I was a little bit worried that they might look a little plasticky because you don't see the wood grain through them and yes you don't see the wood grain through the fronts but they've held up really well and they wipe up really easily and we are in this kitchen every day so this is a really hard working kitchen and we haven't had any nicks or any damage to the finish I was a little bit worried about the off-white color, what it would look like when you put this in and especially when you combine it with the counters and the trim on the windows and the doors that matches the rest of the house. But I will tell you what we did and how it actually comes together really beautifully. One thing that is a little bit challenging with off-the-rack and that would just go for any off-the-rack kitchen cabinets is in an old house where you don't have straight walls and 90 degree corners that you have to kind of work with that a little bit. If you're getting a custom kitchen in an old house where the walls aren't straight and the corners aren't perfect right angles, you have much more room to play with. But with existing cabinets that come in boxes and you just put them in, you have to 
you know, customize them a little bit. And that my husband did. He did do a lot of customization and a lot of tweaking and twisting. So if you're somebody who can do this DIY, then that would be perfect. Or if you have a newer building that has pretty straight walls, then you'll be good to go. So my verdict is yes, they are great. And I would totally buy them again. Here's our Ikea farmhouse sink. I always wanted a white apron front farmhouse sink. And this one is just exactly what I wanted. I wanted two bowls. I wanted the double bowl so I can drain, as you can see here, I can drain things in the one side and still wash and do other things on the other side. And it's just been really practical for us. Um, what I do have to say, it is very heavy. Um, we have actually cracked one in the process of installing it because we're doing it ourselves. We have to put it in, see how it fits, take it out, put it back in. And in that process of putting it in and taking it out a few times, it did crack, so we had to get a new one. It cleans up really easily. We have not had any staining or any chips or nicks in the, in the coating, so um, it's holding up really well. I do clean it pretty much every single day after we use it. However, you cannot beat the price point. It is under $200 and that was a real seller for us. I might have liked one that maybe goes a little bit deeper, but for $200, can't really complain. <laughs> so verdict, I love it and I would totally buy it again. The quartz counters are beautiful and if you have watched my original video you know that i really 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 wanted marble i wanted marble because it is such a classic traditional kitchen counter and we always wanted this kitchen to look like it could have always been here this is a hundred plus year old house and marble would have been one of those choices and when i checked about eight different marble dealers in our area i could just not find a slab that i liked that had too dramatic veining or um, it had an off color that I didn't like, but while I was on that search, I saw this and I asked the salesperson, what is that? And he said, that's a MSI quartz. And by the way, I have all the products and resources in the description box so you can find everything that I'm talking about in this video. So anyway, so this is a quartz and um, it has held up really well. There are some really tiny, tiny little nicks right here. This is the area that gets the most use out of our kitchen. I notice these things, most people wouldn't notice them. So I don't think it's a big deal, but I just recently learned that there's different softness grades in quartz, which I didn't know that was. But we still like them. We think they look just like marble except they're low maintenance and are not quite as finicky as marble. Quartz isn't one of the really cheap counters, but if you're going with something like a stone, then um, you know they're all going to be expensive. We have them professionally installed and the installation was about the same price pretty much as the counters. But like I said, we don't have a lot of counters and I feel like, especially with a kitchen that again doesn't have straight walls and weird angles, the professional installation is so worth it. So the verdict, we love them and we would buy them again. I also knew we wanted the subway tile. Uh, we put those in on our anniversary last year, cleaned up and still went out for dinner. We thought the subway tile would just look really traditional and it's also very, very inexpensive. And we put those in ourselves. So there we saved some money on the installation and then as for the grout, I had read that white grout can look yellow pretty quickly, especially over the stove area where there's a lot of splattering and maybe here where you're preparing and even though you're trying to be careful, there's just inevitable splatters. And it was recommended to use this silver shadow grout. It has held up really well. And I don't like the dark gray because it makes the subway tile look a lot more dramatic. So we're pretty happy with this choice. Verdict, we love the subway tile, we love the grout, and we would totally do it again. Over here we have our vintage style faucet. And that was a real no-brainer, both for my husband and I. We saw this and we we're like, yep, this is it. We love the fact that it has a very 
clean look and yes it does have the hot and cold individual levers and with all the little like nooks and crannies it is a little bit harder to clean than if you just have one straight let's say arched faucet but we love it because it looks so traditional the only thing that is not a deterrent for me but that i would warn people is when you turn it on and you wash you get wet hands and you turn it off you are dripping water from your hands on the counter behind the sink and if that's um, an issue for you then i would say find something that either um, gives you touchless or a different installation i usually just shake off my hands um, dry them off as much as i can or use the back of my hand to push the lever to turn the faucet off however for us the verdict is we love this faucet and we would totally buy it again. And for the cabinet hardware, um, these stamped bin poles are actually original to this 1910 house. We have some built-ins in the dining room next to this kitchen where they are in brass and they look pretty much exactly that. So we went to a place called Historic House Parts and they had those since everything else is silver and stainless steel and chrome in this kitchen the brass wouldn't have looked so good so that's why we chose the brushed chrome and from there it was a really easy choice to get these cabinet knobs they're very sturdy they're very hefty and heavy in quality actually and they have just worked really well there was no loosening and we absolutely love them in our kitchen verdict we love them we would buy them again so considering how much time we spend in our kitchen, it's amazing that I actually don't notice the kitchen lighting so much anymore. But with a kitchen that has fairly clean, straight lines, we absolutely wanted kitchen lighting that was traditional looking and also a little bit more feminine, curvy in a way. And those look really well. There's not really much to be said about those. Verdict, we love them, we would buy them again. Flooring. <laughs> Uh, this kitchen sits on a concrete slab and that had to be totally taken out and re-poured and we have dug fur floors in the rest of the house. So we wanted to find something that both matched the look of the floors in the rest of the house but also my husband was really concerned about leaks and water damage so he wanted something a little bit lower maintenance than uh, real wood floors. and. He picked the engineered flooring and he let me pick the color. The floor in itself looks beautiful. It's very low maintenance. However, uh, at some point my husband said, oh, we should consider having these in, in the entire house. And I said, absolutely not. Every time I'm in here and I'm recording a video, even when I'm not recording a video, and our dog comes in, her toenails scratch on this floor, which could be I think it's the floor, not just the fact that it's a floating floor, but I absolutely do not like that noise. If you follow me along here on my channel and I'm recording a video and you hear some scratchy noises, that is our dog coming in the kitchen while I'm recording a video. And if I could change one thing, it was that. So verdict, if we were to redo it again, I would see if there were other options and I'm not sure how you try that out beforehand, but that's the one thing that I do not like about this kitchen. So having told you that we have the off-white IKEA kitchen cabinets, the somewhat cold looking, marble looking kitchen quartz counters, and the window trim that matches the trim in the rest of the house, we have to be really careful with what kind of white we use for the wall color. And there's a company called Farrah and Ball. They make a very non-toxic, some people say it's so pure you can drink this paint, high pigment rich uh, wall paint. And we went with their all white because it doesn't make all the other whites look off or weird or something. And so it is a white that um, for lack of a better description, blends in and works really well. So I could not be happier. It is very expensive. 
It's about $100 for a quart of paint, but I feel like it was a really good choice in this kitchen. Plus we didn't have a whole lot of wall space as you could see in my 360 view of this kitchen. Verdict, even though it is expensive, we really like it. It has held up really well and we would buy it again. As for the vent hood, that is something that went into this kitchen after I did my original kitchen reveal because it was a total custom job. The issue was that we wanted a powerful vent, but as you may know, oftentimes the really powerful venting hoods are also really loud and then you don't tend to use them, which totally defeats the purpose. And my husband did a lot of research and he came up with this venting hood that goes inside the cabinet because I also didn't want to look at a big hood over the stove. So it's inside the cabinet. However, the motor, because the duct goes all the way out there, the motor sits somewhere over there. So you actually don't hear it as much. It's a very powerful suck and it is not super loud. So we use it a lot and I am really happy. Verdict, we really like it and we would buy it again. So as I was thinking about this kitchen, I just have to mention that I absolutely love it. We spend a lot of time in here. I cook and do things all the time, every single day and I could not be happier with this kitchen except for the flooring. The kitchen is both highly functional and it has exactly the traditional look that we wanted. I feel very lucky to have such a beautiful space to cook in and to bake in and to ferment and to prepare food and to make food. I hope you found this helpful. Again, if you did, please give me a thumbs up and stay tuned for my farmhouse stove review which is coming up soon thank you so much for joining me here in my kitchen and see you in the next video